Clerical fascism, also clero-fascism or clerico-fascism, is an ideology that combines the political and economic doctrines of fascism with clericalism. The term has been used to describe organizations and movements that combine religious elements with fascism, support by religious organizations for fascism, or fascist regimes in which clergy play a leading role. Topic: History. The term clerical fascism, clero-fascism or clerico-fascism emerged in the early 1920s in the Kingdom of Italy, referring to the faction of the Catholic Partito Popolare Italiano which supported Benito Mussolini and his regime. It was supposedly coined by Don Luigi Sturzo, a priest and Christian Democrat leader who opposed Mussolini and went into exile in 1924, although the term had also been used before Mussolini's march on Rome in 1922 to refer to Catholics in northern Italy who advocated a synthesis of Catholicism and fascism, Sturzo made a distinction between the «philofascists» who left the Catholic PPI in 1921 and 1922, and the «clerical fascists» who stayed in the party after the March on Rome, advocating collaboration with the fascist government. Eventually, the latter group converged with Mussolini, abandoning the PPI in 1923 and creating the Centro Nazionale Italiano. The PPI was disbanded by the fascist regime in 1926. The term has since been used by scholars seeking to contrast authoritarian conservative clerical fascism with more radical variants. Christian fascists focus on internal religious politics, such as passing laws and regulations that reflect their view of Christianity. Radicalized forms of Christian fascism or clerical fascism, clero-fascism or clerico-fascism were emerging on the far right of the political spectrum in some European countries during the interwar period in the first half of 20th century. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Clerical fascism in fascist Italy. In 1870, the newly formed Kingdom of Italy annexed the remaining papal states, depriving the Pope of his temporal power. However, papal rule over Italy was later restored by the Italian fascist regime albeit on a greatly diminished scale in 1929 as head of the Vatican City State. Under Mussolini's dictatorship, Roman Catholicism became the state religion of fascist Italy. In March 1929, a nationwide plebiscite was held to publicly endorse the treaty. Opponents were intimidated by the fascist regime. The Catholic Action Azioni Cattolica and Mussolini claimed that no votes were of those few ill-advised anti-clericals who refused to accept the Lateran pacts." Nearly 9 million Italians voted or 90% of the registered electorate and only 136,000 voted no almost immediately after the signing of the treaty relations between Mussolini and the Church soured again. Mussolini referred to Catholicism as, in origin, a minor sect that had spread beyond Palestine only because grafted onto the organization of the Roman Empire." After the Concordat, he confiscated more issues of Catholic newspapers in the next three months than in the previous seven years. Mussolini reportedly came close to being excommunicated from the Catholic Church around this time. In 1938, the Italian Racial Laws and Manifesto of Race were promulgated by the fascist regime, enforced to both outlaw and persecute Italian Jews and Protestant Christians, especially Evangelicals and Pentecostals. Thousands of Italian Jews and a small number of Protestants died in the Nazi concentration camps. Pope Pius XI strongly objected to the new race laws for which he was praised by Jewish publications. Despite the Italian dictator Mussolini's close alliance with Hitler's Germany, Italy did not adopt Nazism's genocidal ideology towards the Jews. The Nazis were frustrated by the Italian forces' refusal to cooperate in the round-ups of Jews, and no Jews were deported from Italy prior to the Nazi occupation of the country following the Italian capitulation in 1943. In Italian-occupied Croatia, Nazi envoy Siegfried Cash advised Berlin that Italian forces had apparently been influenced by Vatican opposition to German antisemitism. As anti-Axis feeling grew in Italy, the use of Vatican radio to broadcast papal disapproval of race murder and anti-Semitism angered the Nazis. Mussolini was overthrown in July 1943, and the Nazi moved to occupy Italy, and commenced a round-up of Jews. Though thousands were caught, the great majority of Italy's Jews were saved. As in other nations, Catholic networks were heavily engaged in rescue efforts. 
Around 4% of resistance forces were formerly Catholic organizations, but Catholics dominated other independent groups such as the Fiam Verdi and Osopo partisans, and there were also Catholic militants in the Garibaldi brigades, such as Beningo Zaccagnini, who later served as a prominent Christian Democrat politician. In northern Italy, tensions between Catholics and Communists in the movement led Catholics to form the Fiam Verdi as a separate brigade of Christian Democrats in northern Italy. After the war, the ideological divisions between the partisans re-emerged, becoming a hallmark of post-war Italian politics. Topic. Examples of clerical fascism Examples of dictatorship and political movements involving certain elements of clerical fascism include Jozef Tiso's regime Slovak People's Party in the Slovak Republic 1939 The Ustasa movement in the independent state of Croatia and its support from the Catholic Church National Union in Portugal Fatherland Front in Austria Leon Rupnik in Slovenia The Iron Guard movement in Romania, which was led by the devoutly orthodox Cornelia Zalia Kodrianu The Rigsists in Belgium The Lapua movement in Finland The government of General Franco in Francoist Spain had national catholicismo as part of its ideology. It has been described by some as clerical fascist, especially after the decline in influence of the more secular phalange beginning in the mid-1940s and before the strong economic development, the Spanish miracle, of the 1960s. Scholars who accept the term clerical fascism nonetheless debate which of the listed examples should be dubbed clerical fascist, with the Eustace being the most widely included. In the above cited examples, the degree of official Catholic support and clerical influence over lawmaking and government varies. Moreover, several authors reject the concept of a clerical fascist regime, arguing that an entire fascist regime does not become clerical if elements of the clergy support it, while others are not prepared to use the term clerical fascism outside the context of what they call the fascist epoch. Between the ends of the two world wars, 1918 to 1945, some scholars regard certain contemporary movements as forms of clerical fascism, including Christian identity and Christian reconstructionism in the United States. The most virulent form of Islamic fundamentalism, Islamism, and militant Hindu nationalism in India, the political theorist Roger Griffin warns against the hyperinflation of clerical fascism. According to Griffin, the use of the term clerical fascism should be limited to the peculiar forms of politics that arise when religious clerics and professional theologians are drawn either into collusion with the secular ideology of fascism an occurrence particularly common in interwar Europe, or, more rarely, manage to mix a theological illicit cocktail of deeply held religious beliefs with a fascist commitment to saving the nation or race from decadence or collapse. Griffin adds that clerical fascism should never be used to characterize a political movement or a regime in its entirety, since it can at most be a faction within fascism. While he defines fascism as a revolutionary, secular variant of ultranationalism bent on the total rebirth of society through human agency. Topic. See also. Alois Hudel Christofascism Corporatism Fatherland Front Austria Islamofascism Mohammad Taki Mezbah Yazdi National Union Italy 1923 Neo Vokish movements Positive Christianity Religious nationalism The Odessa file Theocracy American Phalangist Party Topic. References Topic. Further reading Various Authors, Clerical Fascism in Interwar Europe, Special Issue of Totalitarian Movements and Political Religions, Volume 8, Issue 2, 2007. Walter K. Anderson, Bharatiya Janata Party, Searching for the Hindu Nationalist Face. In the New Politics of the Right, Neo-Populist Parties and Movements in Established Democracies, ed. 
Hans Georg Betz and Stefan Immerfall, New York, St. Martin's Press, 1998, pp. 219 to 232. ISBN 0-312-21134-1 or ISBN 0-312-21338-7 Stefan Arvidsson, Aryan Idols. The Indo-European Mythology as Ideology and Science, University of Chicago Press, 2006. ISBN 0-226-02860-7 Partha Banerjee, In the Belly of the Beast, The Hindu Supremacist RSS and BJP of India Delhi, Ajanta, 1998. ISBN 81-202-0504-2 Charles Bloomberg and Saul Dubo, eds, Christian Nationalism and the Rise of the Afrikaner Broderbond in South Africa, 1918–48 Bloomington, Indiana University Press, 1989. ISBN 0-253-31235-3 Randolph L. Bram and Scott Miller, The Nazis' Last Victims, The Holocaust in Hungary Detroit, Wayne State University Press, 1998 2002. ISBN 0-8143-2737-0 Balagic, Milan 1994. The Role of the Vatican in the Breakup of the Yugoslav State, The Mission of the Vatican in the Independent State of Croatia. Ustashi Crimes of Genocide. Belgrade, Struckna Konhiga. Balagic, Milan 2002. Jasonovic, The Jewish-Serbian Holocaust The Role of the Vatican in Nazi Ustasha Croatia 1941-1945. Belgrade, Fund for Genocide Research, Struckna Konhiga. Ainsley T. Embry. The Function of the Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sang, to Define the Hindu Nation. In Accounting for Fundamentalisms, The Fundamentalism Project 4, ed. Martin E. Marty and R. Scott Appleby, Chicago, The University of Chicago Press, 1994, pp. 617-652. ISBN 0-226-50885-4 Mark Jurgensmeyer. The New Cold War? Religious Nationalism Confronts the Secular State. Berkeley, University of California Press, 1993, ISBN 0-520-08651-1 Lacker, Walter, 1966. Fascism, Past, Present, Future, New York, Oxford, Oxford University Press, 1997. ISBN 0-19511793-X Nicholas M. Nagy Talavera, The Green Shirts and the Others, A History of Fascism in Hungary and Romania IAC and Oxford, The Center for Romanian Studies, 2001. ISBN 973-9432-11-5 Walid Fares, Lebanese Christian Nationalism, The Rise and Fall of an Ethnic Resistance Boulder, Colo, El Riener, 1995. ISBN 1-55587-535-1 Leon Volovici, Nationalist Ideology and Antisemitism, The Case of Romanian Intellectuals in the 1930s Oxford, Pergamon Press, 1991. ISBN 0-08-041024-3 Livia Rothkirchen. Vatican Policy and the Jewish Problem in Independent Slovakia 1939-1945. In Michael R. Maris, ed., The Nazi Holocaust III, Westport, Meckler, 1989, pp. 1306-1332. ISBN 0-88736-255-9 or ISBN 0-88736-256-7. Falcone, Carlo 1970. The Silence of Pius XII. Boston and Toronto, Little, Brown, and Company. Rhodes, Anthony 1973. The Vatican in the Age of the Dictators 1922-1945. New York, Holt, Reinhardt and Winston. ISBN 9780030077364. Cornwell, John 1999. Hitler's Pope, The Silence of Pius XII. London, Viking. ISBN 9780670876264. Cornwell, John 1998. Le Genocide Occulte, Atat Independent de Croatia 1941-1945 Hidden Genocide, The Independent State of Croatia 1941-1945 in French. Lausanne, Lodge Dumb. 
ISBN 9782825111375. Ravelli, Marco Aurelio L'Arcevescovo del Genocidio, Monsignor Stepanak, Il Vaticano e la Didatura Ustasha in Croatia, 1941–1945 The Archbishop of Genocide, Monsignor Stepanak, The Vatican and the Eustace Dictatorship in Croatia, 1941–1945 in Italian. Milano, Chaos. ISBN 9788879530798. Ravelli, Marco Aurelio. 2002. Dio e con noi. La Chiesa di Pio XII Complice del Nazifascismo. God is with us. The Church of Pius XII Accomplice to Nazi Fascism. In Italian. Milano, Chaos. ISBN 9788879530798. Ravelli, Michael. 2000. The Catholic Church and the Holocaust, 1930–1965. Bloomington and Indianapolis, Indiana University Press. Fayer, Michael Pius XII, The Holocaust, and the Cold War. Bloomington and Indianapolis, Indiana University Press. Shindley, Wanda, Makara, Petter, eds. 2005. Jasonovic, Proceedings of the First International Conference and Exhibit on the Jasonovic Concentration Camps. Dallas Publishing. Griffin, Roger, ed. 2005. Fascism, Totalitarianism and Political Religion. Routledge. Biondich, Mark. 2005. Religion and Nation in Wartime Croatia, Reflections on the Eustasa Policy of Forced Religious Conversions, 1941–1942. The Slavonic and East European Review. 83 71–116. JSTOR 4214049. Griffin, Roger. 2007. The Holy Storm: Clerical Fascism Through the Lens of Modernism. Totalitarian Movements and Political Religions. 8 213-227. DOI 10.1080/14 quadrillion 690 trillion 760 billion 701 million 321,130. Biondich, Mark. 2007A. Controversies surrounding the Catholic Church in wartime Croatia, 1941-45. The Independent State of Croatia, 1941-45. Routledge. pp. 31-59. Biondich, Mark. 2007b. Radical Catholicism and Fascism in Croatia, 1918 to 1945. Totalitarian Movements and Political Religions. 82, 383 to 399. Doi 10.1080/14 quadrillion 690 Feldman, Matthew, Tourda, Marius, Georgescu, Tudor, eds. 2008. Clerical Fascism in Interwar Europe. Routledge. ISBN 9781317968. Reichlich, Ronald J. Hitler, The War, and the Pope, Revised and Expanded ed. South Bend, Our Sunday Visitor. ISBN 9781612781381. Reichlich, Ronald J. 2011. Magnum Crimen, Half a Century of Clericalism in Croatia, 1. Jagodina, Gambit. ISBN 9788676242. Reichlich, Ronald J. 2011. Magnum Crimen, Half a Century of Clericalism in Croatia, 2. Jagodina, Gambit. ISBN 9788676242. Reichlich, Ronald J. 2014. The Pope and Mussolini, The Secret History of Pius XI and the Rise of Fascism in Europe, Oxford University Press. ISBN 9780198716381. Reichlich, Ronald J. 
Nellis, Jan, Morelli, Anne, Pratt, Danny, eds. 2015. Catholicism and Fascism in Europe 1918–1945. Georg Olms Verlag. ISBN 9783487422. Hoffman, Hans, 1978. 